Newburgh wasn't always like this. I, I've lived in Newburgh all my life, and it, it was a nice town. It deteriorated over the years, and nobody seemed to notice. There was poverty, there was slums. And uh, then Mr. Mitchell came along, and Newburgh was just right for something like him. We challenge the right of a welfare program to contribute to the rise of slums. To the in 1960, Newburgh city manager Joseph Mitchell launched an aggressive campaign against welfare, citing it as Newburgh's leading cause of economic distress. His disparagement of welfare led to urban renewal. Buildings were slated for demolition after being defined as slums with a promise to replace them. That didn't happen. Over 1,300 buildings were erased and more than 800 families were removed, devastated as they watched their homes bulldozed into splinters, never to be renewed. It wasn't always like this. Newburgh is a historically significant city, both politically and culturally. Today, Newburgh citizens still share a love for their town and mourn for what was lost. Their community is only now beginning to rebound. The Newburgh project aims to virtually rebuild the city as it stood before the wrecking balls arrived. To piece Newburgh back together, I have connected with local historians, poured through fire maps, city directories, examined historical photos, appraisal papers, census records, and explored Google Maps. Through this research, I have created a detailed digital map which allows the user to experience Newburgh circa 1940. By using a popular program like Minecraft, it makes it easy for others to access the project, educate, and spark the interest of generations who didn't live through urban renewal. To gain maximum exposure, the Newburgh Project lives on Twitter. The project has gained various notable followers. The Newburgh Project's goal is to raise awareness for the plight of this once thriving city, ultimately igniting a passion to restore the area formerly known as the Jewel of the Hudson Valley.